What's up guys, this is Tampa Tech and I'm gonna show you how to connect these wireless speakers to your TV. Now, the reason why I chose these speakers is because it has stereo technology built in, which creates a left and right channel. So we're gonna test it out on my TV. Now there's two ways to connect it um, to your TV. If you have an Amazon Fire TV stick, like I do, I watch Hulu TV, which is my TV service. Um, which has like local channels and live TV channels like uh, Nickelodeon, Disney Channel. Um, but if you don't have that and you have a regular cable box, then you're gonna need to purchase an audio transmitter. Uh, make sure it has APTX low latency technology built into the transmitter. And make sure it has really good reviews before you buy a transmitter. I'll leave a link in the video description below where to get the transmitter. Uh, these are wireless or you can have it powered on always. Uh, it has uh, auto off feature, so it saves you know, battery life if you have you know, it disconnected from a power source. Um, the battery lasts about six to eight hours depending on your volume. And it has a battery indicator um, right here. These LEDs let you know the battery life. And it has FM mode and it's water resistant so you can take it in the shower. But we're gonna connect it using the stereo feature. Um, so let's spin it around this way and these are the stereo buttons right here and we're going to connect it right now. So I'm going to turn it on in Bluetooth mode. Power on. Ox in mode. All right. There's the battery life right there. So it looks like it's full battery life. And if you press it again, you get the FM mode. You press it again, it's aux mode and then you can plug it in. There's your aux input right there. If you can see that 3.5 input and or you can use the micro SD card with your music on that to play your music off the SD card, micro SD card. And there's the power port or the charging port actually. And the speakers. And I'm gonna turn this one on. Power on. Actually. Bluetooth mode. So make sure they're both in Bluetooth mode and make sure they're um, nearby each other and to the Bluetooth transmitter. Now, I'm going to go ahead and go into settings and then you want to go to Bluetooth devices, select that, go to Bluetooth devices, add Bluetooth. All right, now it's searching and let's see if it connects. All right, looks like it found it. Let's go ahead and select to connect. It's pairing right now. Device paired. Right, if you're Router has five gigahertz. Choose the five gigahertz signal when uh, connecting your Fire TV stick to the router. Otherwise, you may have some signal issues. Make sure they're both in Bluetooth mode. Bluetooth mode. All right, there we go. It wasn't in Bluetooth mode. <laughs> so now that it's connected, um, the blue light on the stereo button is the left channel and the orange light is the right channel, so keep that in mind. So if you're facing the TV, this is gonna be on the left side of you, and this is gonna be on the right side of you. It does it on both. Let's raise the volume. All right, now I have to hit pause. And then when you hit pause, it pauses it on the Fire TV stick. Now if you hit play, it plays. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and get started. First, I'm gonna turn on this device. So I wanna use it as a Bluetooth transmitter from my TV to the speakers. So what we're gonna do is plug it into the transmit port, which is the red port that you see right here. So we're gonna plug that in right here. All right, 
Now it does have a built-in battery, so I don't have to um, have it plugged into my TV USB port unless I want it always powered on. Otherwise, you can, if you want it always powered on, you just plug this into a, your USB port on your TV or uh, if you have a USB adapter. So we're gonna go ahead and turn that on. Press and hold that button in the center. Okay, that'll start to blink. It's in transmit mode. It's blinking really fast. Let's go ahead and turn this on. Power on. Bluetooth mode. Okay. And let's see if it connects. Device paired. So we're going to plug it into the audio out on my TV. And once again, if you don't have audio out on your TV, and you can use the headphone jack on your TV, that works the same. Right. And white goes to white, of course. That's the left channel. Red goes to red. All right, and it's blinking slowly, so it is still connected. I'm gonna keep this away from other wireless devices, by the way. So if you have a wireless router nearby, make sure it's about at least two feet away from this device. And then press the true wireless stereo button. Device disconnected. Oh, <laughs> let's try it again. So you want this in Bluetooth mode and it should connect automatically according to the manual. Oh, there it is. So this is the left channel. This is the right channel. So if you guys are interested in these speakers, this is the M400 model. They have the built-in stereo uh, technology, which is really cool. If you're interested in these speakers, check out the link in the video description below that helps support the channel. If this video was informative, give me a big thumbs up. If you know anyone that this video will help, go ahead and click on the share button below and share this video to them, help someone out. If you want more how-to videos like this coming your way, subscribe to Tampa Tech. Click on this link right here or the subscribe button down below. And if you wanna check out my other Amazon tutorials, Go ahead and click on this uh, Amazon playlist right here. Thanks guys for watching.